So let's take a look at an example and let's take a look then how we go about setting this up to only show the posts for the logged in user. This is an example. You can see that I've got a typical loop here and we've got basically every single property that can be edited, which is fine if you're an admin and want full access, but we want to limit this to only show those of the logged in user. Now you can use this with anything. It could be custom post types like my example or native WordPress posts. It doesn't really matter. The principle is exactly the same, but there's a couple of things we want to do beforehand to make this all work. Now, if you're new around here, my name is Paul C and I've been a web designer, web developer for well over 20 years, specializing in WordPress for well over 10. Okay, so there's a couple of things we need to do before we can move forward. The first thing is we're going to come into bricks into the settings section and inside there we're going to go to the custom code tab. Then we're going to enable code execution and lock this down just to administrators. You could, if you wanted to, have this set up for a specific user only. For example, you may be like the master admin. You could do that if you want to. Once you've done that, all you need to do is hit the save settings and we are good to go. Key reason for this is it opens up an additional option that makes our life a lot easier. Now let's head back into our page and this is our template, which as you can see is showing all those different posts. Now, what we need to do is select our loop. I've already got it applied here and I'm going to come over to the loop builder. I'm going to open up the loop option and you'll see we get this query editor PHP. So now what we can do is we can kind of override all the settings in this default panel and simply come in and customize the query. Let's click to enable this and you can see this pulls in a very basic query. We need to now customize this. Now to make life easy, I've already got the code saved and I'm gonna link that in an article down below so you can check this out and copy it for yourself and use it as a starting point which you can modify should you want to or need to moving forward. So first off, let's take a quick look at what this code is going to do. You can see we've got this current user ID and get the current user ID. So this is going to check for what the logged in user's ID is right now and then we can use that to filter the posts based upon that variable. Then you can see that we've got the post type as property. In this example, this is the key thing. This is my custom post type. If you were using just standard WordPress posts, you just leave that as post. That's it. But if you have custom post types, put the name that you've got set up for that custom post type inside there. Now, if you're unsure what that is and you're using a tool like Advanced Custom Fields, free or pro, you'll see that there's your post type key. This is exactly what you want to reference. So make sure that you have that exactly as it is there to make sure this works correctly. Now, if you find value in this tutorial, why not hit that subscribe button to be notified when new content like this is added. I add new videos every single week. So there's a bunch of new content you can be kept up to date with. Anyway, let's get on with the tutorial. And then we just got some basic other information. Post status, published. You can set this to draft whatever you want. Order by is just set needs to be by the title in ascending order. But again, you can change this if you want to customize it as you see fit. And then the post per page, you can set this to be a specific number. For example, maybe 10 posts minus one will basically show everything. Then the final thing it's doing is it's checking that the author equals the current user ID, which is the variable that we've set up right at the beginning. So this is what this is doing. Not that complicated. So what we need to do now is copy this, head back into bricks, and then we're going to paste this in. Before we finish, let's make some modifications. You want to change this over. We'll set this to be, for example, six. Everything else is perfectly fine. Now you'll see we get this red mark here and this little sort of thumbprint at the top and sign code. This is to make sure that the code is confirmed before we actually want to apply it. So we'll click sign code. And you only need to do this one time unless you make changes. If you make changes, you're going to have to then actually sign that code again. So now we've set this up to only show the actual posts associated with this particular logged in user. So save this. So now our page is only showing the results for this particular logged in user. As you can see, it's filtered things down. Let's go and log in as a different user now and see that we'll see different results here. Now I'm using a nifty little plugin that allows me to easily switch to a different user. So I'm going to switch to alter ego. Now we switched into that different user who's still an administrator. And now if we reload that page, you can see we get different results. We get bath towers and small acres. So we've set this up now to ensure that we only show the posts relevant to the logged in user. This is great if you're working on things like a front end dashboard or something like that, where you want to only allow the user to see their own posts. It's pretty nifty. And one of those things that I thought that Bricks would have a much easier way of being able to handle this. If I'm wrong, 
in all the tests that I've done, please do let me know if you found a simpler way of handling this. But I just wanted to show you because this gives you a lot of flexibility with a simple little bit of code, like I say, which will be linked into an article down below. As always, I welcome your feedback. Is this useful? Have you found this an issue in the past yourself? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care. Thank you.